Hello everyone, welcome to Ask Me Classes. So today we will be discussing on a new topic, uh, which is uh, how to use the major toolbar. How to use this major toolbar to calculate the distance and area on the map. Like uh, there are multiple point shape files here. There is also a way to calculate uh, length of uh, the distance between two uh, point shape file using the uh, open attribute table by adding a field and by calculating the geometry but today we will be discussing how to use this major this major toolbar to calculate the distance between the point shape files and how to calculate this area of this shape file so to know the what is the distance between two points like just for the information purpose if you want to know you don't want to showcase here so you can use this major toolbar you can open this major toolbar and uh, there is an option here called uh, major line then here you can uh, change the distance uh, unit either to kilometer meter decimeter centimeters millimeter miles nautical miles yard feet and inches so we'll be using kilometers so now now you have selected major line now you have selected the unit now you have to select one point shape file then from one point shape file to another point shape file you, if you select you can find that the answer is if you keep it here it is around 48 kilometers then from here to here it is around means 48 plus 48 plus 30 that is around 79 kilometers then again, again from here to here it is plus 38 118 then again plus here to here 159 then from here to here 198 234 then if i select here 287 then to 319 so for information purpose we can uh, and get to know that if i start uh, from this uh, corner this corner this single say point, point point say file to this end then uh, we have covered around 319 kilometers we have covered around 319 kilometers so this is uh, applicable only if i want to uh, showcase uh, the distance between two point shape file so now if i want to calculate the area area of this shape file of this administrative boundary if i want to calculate then what is the process so here one option is there measure an area but now it is disabled now it is disabled so how to enable it so why it is disabled because our uh, shape file is in decimal degree so our shape file is in decimal degree to get it enabled you have to convert the coordinate system from decimal degree to projected coordinate system so for that how to convert you can see the previous video okay so now i'll show how to enable this measure now you see it is in disable mode so how to enable this area tool and you can see here also it is disabled so for that what i have to i have to change the uh, shape file the shape files coordinate system from um, project uh, gcs to projected coordinate system so you can see the previous video i'll add the link in the description so you can see the video and do the conversion so now what i will do i will add the projected file which i have already uh, done so that is dantevada you can see the same shape file so now if it is in meters now the coordinate system is in meters so now when i am clicking on this major toolbar you can see the area have tool have been enabled this area to have been enabled so here uh, though we need the shape file area or the entire area of this shape file then there is an option called measure a feature there is an option called measure a feature so now we have selected our uh, unit kilometer so when when i click measure a feature and i select this it is showing it is around 8786.48 square kilometer okay to calculate the entire area of this shape file there is an option here called measure a feature so when you select uh, it and you select this shape file it will show you the area the perimeter of this entire shape file so you can now change the uh, unit also so it is coming in hectares you can change the distance in kilometer it is changing so 
looking into your requirements the value is changing there is another option here called measure an area so this measure an area command is used to uh, calculate the area boundary of small small polygons like if you want to calculate the uh, area of uh, buildings if you want to calculate the area of a park small park so these uh, small small areas can be uh, measured using this uh, measure an area but if you want to calculate uh, a entire feature means a, if the area of your calculation is huge where you it is not possible for you to continuously uh, select the points there you use this command measure a feature but where you can select the uh, corner points uh, for calculating your area there you can use measure an area so here if i use measure an area then i have to select like this all the points each single point i have to draw this shape file then only it will be able to calculate and give me the area but though i am using this there is a command called measure a feature though i am selecting though i am selecting a single feature i want this uh, shape file of this single feature then i will use this command i will use this command measure a feature so remember to measure small small polygons where you can define the corner points then you use measure an area but if you cannot define the corner points or the points where of which you can of the area which you want to calculate the area then you use measure a feature thank you so much please comment your queries and if you want any Uh, videos of your choice like you are facing problem in any rgs in any tool so please comment and i will be surely making a video on it thank you